Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in Scotland. And uh, today I want to show you how to make these really quick and simple um, snowflake wishes Christmas cards using the Stamparatus. I did a demonstration of this over in a Facebook group called the Crafty Scots Corner, where we um, play bingo stamping up style. Um, and one of the items that was in the bingo was the Stamparatus. So I we took a little bit of time out from the game of bingo to show everybody that was playing how the Stamparatus works. And I thought I would just do the same um, in this video today. So I'm using Bami Blue, Seaside Spray and Misty Moonlight. And the stamps are all from the Snowflake Wishes stamp set. And as I say, I'm using the Stamparatus. I'm also using the Whisper White note cards and envelopes that uh, you can buy in packs. They also come in very vanilla as well. All of the products that I'm using um, will be listed in my blog post and the link to that blog, blog post will be in the description bar below. So, um, your Stamparatus comes with a magnetic base, very, very magnetic. Um, it also comes with this foam mat, which is great um, to give you a really good impression if you're using photopolymer stamps like these ones. If you're using any of the red rubber stamps, then you don't need this piece here because your stamp has got that cushion on it anyway. Um, the only extra bit that I have put in is this piece of paper and it's because I will be stamping over the edge of my note card um, and I don't want to get onto that um, mat. Obviously, these ones are great because they've got lines on them and I know that I've set everything up that if I get my top edge along that one inch line on the grid paper, then we're good to go. Um, if you don't have that, then just some plain copier paper and, and just put a pencil mark so that you can line up your next one and bish bash bosh, on you go. So, I'm going to use uh, Misty Moonlight first of all. And what is great to do, bear with me a moment while I move this around just a little bit, is if you put your stamp case there, then it gives you something to lean on to make that nice and secure there. So you get your ink on nicely and you can get a really good impression like that. Now, the great thing about Stamparatus is, is these hinged platforms. So I'm bringing it down two steps. I'm adding more ink onto my stamp. Paste that down there. Perfect impression again. Once again, bring it down two. Add the ink. Just a few taps does the job and there we go that's that one now I'm going to use my chamois just to take the ink off that um, more so just for the sake that I don't put my fingers in it now you get two of these um, platform I don't know what you call them anyway you get two of them <laughs> Uh, so I'm using the other one. Let me just I seem to have got a bit of thread or something stuck to my um, and still sticking with misty moonlight, I am gonna stamp my sentiment and those two snowflakes down there. Okay, so you can 
have more than one stamp on your platform at a time. So I've stamped all three of those with just one application of ink and one press down. So again, just using my chamois to take the ink off that so that I don't get it over my fingers. So that's the Misty Moonlight. We've got along the top and along the bottom there. I am now going to use this other snowflake stamp and I am going to go with Bami Blue on this one. See, all of the stamps are from the same set. I've just managed to get rather a lot of ink on there. And the other great thing about the Stamparatus is if you don't actually put your pressure down, if you were using a normal um, block, you would have to try hard to line it up again and make sure that you got the rest of it. That's not a problem here. You can just put it back down again and maybe press a little bit harder this time to make sure that you get a good impression. So with this one, I'm moving it down one at a time because I want to have more of these than the length of my card. Just moving it down one notch at a time. Now, to be honest, that ink I probably could have left on there because it wouldn't transfer because there's there's a gap. Um, but I am more concerned about putting my fingers in it and then putting my fingers on the card um, and getting ink onto my card that way. So I'll just prove my point there. I'm just pressing that bit so that ink that was there and there didn't transfer onto my project. Another quick wipe with the chamois. These chamois are excellent for the Stamparatus. Um, best invention ever. So we've used that one, I've used that one, um, and I'm now actually finished with that plate. That's the word, plate. I couldn't have think of that earlier. Um, and the next one I want to use is this one. And this is going to stamp that and that at the same time in Seaside Spray. So I'm finished with my Bami Blue. I'm just going to put that, close that again, make sure I don't get my fingers in it. Now, to show you how I set this up, because obviously I said I used this last night, so it was all ready for me. I simply position the stamp where I want it to go, press down, and that will pick that stamp up. There will be a bit of suction there. Um, if your card moves, you know that you had it into the edge and along that line there. Okay, so I've got those two where I want them to be. I just need to ink up those two and they'll ink both at the same time. Press that down and there we have it. Again, I'm coming down two steps. I can ink both of them at the same time. Just a gentle press is all you need. And I'm going to come down two steps again. This one won't appear but this one will. So I don't need to ink that one. I can just add ink to that top one there. Get ink all over my platform again. And then just press that down. So there you have it. We have our perfectly stamped with the Stamparathus. Exactly the same 
as these ones that we did before, although maybe slightly different positioning with that stamp there because I took it off and, and showed you how to mount it with those three colours. Now my final touch, um, there's a handy, you get two magnets, there's a handy little bit on the back for storing them. I can take my um, stamps off that and put it all away nice and neatly once I'm finished making these cards. And my final touch was to add some of those adhesive back snowflakes. And I used my pick a tool for that. Just take one sheet and simply using the putty on the end so easy to pick them up you kind of just slide them off the sheet with the putty and obviously whatever thread I had I hadn't taken off properly um, and then yeah just fill in some spaces and this will mean that your cards are slightly different because you're placing them in slightly different places. Um, fold your card. It's already um, got that crease along the middle. And press that down. And there you go. Another one to add to my collection for when I am ready to send my Christmas cards out this year. I hope you've enjoyed this little card and uh, as I say the link to the blog with all of the products that I've used um, will be in the description bar below so if you give that a click you can go and get all of that information and click on any of the product links to visit my online stamping up store. Thank you so much for watching, take care, until the next time, bye bye.